Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Princess K day by day. If you're an oldie but a goodie, hey girl, hey. Thank you so much for stopping by to see what I am up to. I greatly appreciate it. Um, so today's video is gonna be me cleaning my back porch. In this video, I'm also going to include our courtyard, but I wanted to go ahead and get this out of the way. It's the end of the day, it's about 6.50 in the p.m. and the sun is getting ready to go down. I didn't film this earlier because it was entirely too much sun out, which I'm not sad about. Thank you. Thank you, dear God, because I love it. But it would have been too saturated with so much light. So that's the reason why I'm filming this video right now. I'm gonna get this area cleaned up because it is spring time. That means more meals are gonna be eaten outside. Hopefully by the summertime, we'll have friends and family over and you know, just get everything together. So if you wanna see me take care of this mess, back here then just continue to watch and as always if you enjoy these types of videos please give me a big thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it and let's hop right into the video okay guys so we're just gonna get right into it i'm gonna start off by removing everything off of the patio because it's outside outside is dusty it's dirty and it just needs to be cleaned and my girls oldest kayla red shirt black shirt cadence decided to come and help me i've been having thoughts in my mind i can't get up tell me things i can't say myself from you and nobody else everything inside of my side this is also new to me i can do it all in your way say all the things that you say i can do it all in one night i know what would probably be easier just to bring out the vacuum and vacuum up all of the dust and the dirt but I didn't want to I really enjoy sweeping I don't know about you guys but I do and it's a good workout to breathe yeah i need that take it all in now i see what i'm asking for is just some space and some time then i'll be all right i've been having thoughts in my mind i can't get up tell me things i can't say myself Our patio furniture is from Ikea. I don't know the name of the actual furniture, but it's beautiful, I love it. This table is huge and it sits eight. We decided to go with the bench instead of an additional two chairs and I love it. You can find some really, really great pieces at Ikea for really inexpensive and it wasn't hard to put together either. So the cleaner that I'm using to clean the tables and chairs is by the brand Method. It's a daily wood cleanser and it's a plant-based wood cleanser, which is awesome. And it's in the scent of almond and it smells so good and it leaves your furniture so nice. It can be used on tables, counters, walls, shelves, panels, anything that is a sealed wood surface is so good. And I picked mine up at Target. 
So one thing I try to keep in mind when I'm decorating for the seasons is that I want something that is not going to be so expensive. So the majority of the things that I get to decorate, I either pick up at the Target Dollar Stop or at Family Dollar, Dollar General, the Dollar Tree, just because it makes it a whole lot easier to change out decor without spending an arm and a leg. Okay, so this wraps it up. I finished the table. I think though I wanna get a bar to put out here, one of those rolling bar carts to put out here and add beverages. Um, I am going to go and get pillows for the chairs. Um, outside is closed, so I wasn't able to do that. I'm gonna change those pillows because I don't like them. Um, probably gonna get some more plants, bigger plants to come out here but I love it so far. I promise I love it. Nothing like sprucing up for a new season. I'm so excited. So now we're in my courtyard and I just wanted to give y'all an overview of how it looks and what we're working with before we start the renovation of it. Um, this is located in the center of my home. It is an open air patio, which means that we get good airflow um, in this area. I love this area for coming out in the mornings and having coffee and just sitting and thinking or at nighttime having a drink with the hubby. It's just a wonderful place. I love this portion of my home. All I can do now is drink, yeah mm -hmm. Cause I don't wanna remember you Oh no Didn't I say you did the wrong thing? Ay. Did it for the wrong reasons Kept on going, wrong direction Ay. Went into deep at first Take what you need Tryna guess what happens after this I'm moving out Find a place where I can breathe I have to keep telling myself to stop saying my home as if my husband and children don't live here with me. It's our home. But I wanted to come in and just say that this portion, removing the rocks this uh, time lapse was so satisfying um, once it was complete. During the time that I was actually doing it, I was very exhausted, very tired. There was plenty of breaks in between and a lot, a lot of hydration. So I just wanted to hop in and say, if you made it this far, thank you. I really appreciate the support. It means the absolute world to me. Um, if you consider subscribing, that would be great as well. Just go ahead and hit that subscription button below and also turn on the notifications. So this way you don't miss any of my weekly uploads. Um, this will help me build my channel, build that community, get my content out there to others for them to see. And I would greatly appreciate all the support. like us when people see us they know uh, I feel so much for you that I don't know what to do cause someone was before you and someone let me go it's time I must know for sure cause someone was before you and someone let me go but I just need to be sure some say love's not for the bitter ones Some say love will only bring you down Some say love can feel much better now, better now But will you let me down? 
tackling this piece was very, very exciting for me, but turned out to be a huge disappointment. I actually picked up this piece at Ross maybe a year or two ago, and it was really, really inexpensive. I love the iron work on it. I thought the wood coloring was beautiful, but come to find out, those shells are not wood. I don't know what it is, but it's not wood. Hey guys, so today is day three of the patio, courtroom, spring clean. I can't even function, I'm so tired. Yesterday was a lot, but it's okay. It'll be worth it in the end. Um, I'm going to be spending the majority of the day outside today in our garage as I have several projects that I'm going to be working on. Just refinishing a couple of things um, just to make the patio just look a whole lot better than what it did previously. So yeah, I'm just going to stop rambling and we're going to jump right into it. Take this and turn it So if you've never sanded anything before, it's pretty satisfying. I enjoyed this time. Um, it was kind of frustrating at first. So these two mirrors we bought from at home maybe about a year and a half ago and they were beautiful. They came in that like yellow, um, I don't know what this is, manila color and we thought they were beautiful and they would go with the courtyard so well. And then I decided I don't want them to be yellow anymore. So let's stain them and waterproof them and make them great and all this good jazz. Come to find out that yellow manila color on there, it wasn't the color of the wood. It was paper that they glued to the wood. It was the weirdest thing. But once I actually got that paper off, the mirrors turned out stunning. I am in love with them. And I think if they had left them like the way that they are, um, originally with their original wood, they would have been a whole lot more expensive. I love these mirrors now. I know if you let go. This part was so, so frustrating once I got to put the shelf back together. All the sweat equity that I put in on this was ridiculous for this not to be wood. I was so, so disappointed, but it's okay. We're just gonna go to Lowe's and we're gonna measure out the surface and replace it with actual wood and stain it to the color that we want. <laughs> Okay, so this mirror was giving me the absolute blues. When I first started this project, I didn't know what I was doing. So I was like, you know what, let's do it just one mirror at a time. And this is the one that I started with. So of course, I did not cover the mirror when I started sanding and I got all kinds of dust in there. And then when I sprayed it with the sealant, the waterproof sealant, that made the 
just stick to the mirror. It was so, so difficult to clean. And I was like, what is going on? My spray weight cleans everything. Oh my gosh. It was me. It wasn't the spray weight. It was me. I broke it. I did it. I cannot express how disappointed I was when I was putting this shelf back together because every time I was holding up one of the boards to nail it back in place, the sealant, the um, waterproofing would come off onto my hand. And that's when I figured out this is not wood. This is some other material and I was so disappointed. But again, we're just gonna go to Lowe's, get the right measurements and replace these non-wood pieces. <laughs> Okay guys, well this wraps up the video. This is an overview of what we got. I enjoyed this whole transition. It was so much fun, both the patio and the courtyard. Of course they are not complete. Nothing is ever complete. There's always stuff to be added, but this is what I came up with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you considered subscribing, I would greatly appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye. See what I'm asking for is just some space and some time, then I'll be.